hello i'm hopping on here a little impromptu i didn't know that i was going to be editing this video today my baby is taking a nap so i have to make this brief but what you just watched was my amazing sweet very uh rock solid stomached husband making my placenta pills i feel like a lot of people in my life might think this is like bizarre and weird and I know I've, I've been the one to tell people in my life that this is a thing and the way I've kind of explained it to my family because a lot of them like you know they eat liver and onions they eat game meat they eat organ meat I kind of describe it like that like um, liver and organ meat is known to be super nutrient dense and beneficial and good for you and my body grew an organ that has to come out after birth so kind of along the same concept maybe that makes it even more weird to you i don't know but that's how i've gotten some of my family like on board not that they like cared enough to be like you shouldn't do that but you know what i mean but i just kind of wanted to pop on at the end and let you guys know what i think about the pills how many I've been taking, how long I've been taking them, how I feel. My main two reasons for wanting to encapsulate my placenta was for postpartum depression. It's said to improve those symptoms. And then also for milk production, it's known for some women to increase their milk production. And I really wanted like a good milk supply. It was something I was nervous about because you don't have a ton of control over, but there are things obviously you can do to help yourself out. Pumping, milk thistle, mother's milk, milk maker cookies. Like there are things you can do to help yourself out, but kind of just nature takes its course. So I wanted to do everything in my power to make sure that I didn't have that problem. My baby's crying. Okay, I'll make this really quick. <laughs> she talks to herself for a little bit. Obviously, well maybe not obviously if you're new here. If you are new here, hi, I'm Emily. I make like mommy content, cooking content, daily vlogs, that kind of stuff. Documented like my pregnancy, my birth, all of that's on my channel. Feel free to check it out. But if you don't know, this was my first baby. So I don't have anything to compare it to. I don't have other pregnancies or babies to compare my milk supply, my mood, anything like that. But what I can say is I've had a really good postpartum experience. Obviously like baby blues, hormones, mood swings, that kind of thing. I don't think any pill can fix your hormones after you give birth to your child, however you give birth. I personally had a natural birth, natural as in no epidural. It was an induction, so take that how you will. But I did not have an epidural so just to put it in perspective i don't know if that has any like if that may, i don't know if that makes any difference on my postpartum journey some people say it does some people say it doesn't i don't know i think it's very personal i've been taking two or three in the morning and two or three in the evening kind of just depends i don't know if maybe i should be more regimented but two or three so four to six a day I started with one pill in the morning and one pill in the evening though, just putting that out there. But here they are in all their glory. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my baby, hold on. Okay, my baby's gonna join us because she was not tired anymore. She, this is Lily, hello, say hello. She will be four weeks tomorrow, which means I will be four weeks postpartum tomorrow. So that's how long I've been taking those pills. I also should mention, all right, sorry. She's just gonna eat while I finish because I don't get the opportunity to sit down and record super often, like in this format. So we're just gonna push on. Moms know, moms know. What was I saying? Oh, I don't attribute much of my milk production to pumping. I know pumping is great for milk supply. And that's like one of the first things I'll tell you is like drink more water and pump more and your supply will go up, hopefully. But I've just been using a Hakka. And if you don't know what a Hakka is, you need one. It's literally my favorite. It is so much easier and I think way more effective 
than my pump. And I think it's because when I use it, when she's feeding on one side, your hormones are like in their natural form instead of trying to like fake it with a pump because your baby's saliva is at play, your home hormones are at play, their little bodies are at play. So I just feel like it's a way more natural way. I just, I get way more out of my haka than my pump. Like she'll feed for five or six minutes and I'll get like three ounces on one side with my haka, it's crazy. But like I was saying, this is my first baby, so I don't know if I can give all the credit to my placenta pills, but I'm definitely gonna do it for my next pregnancies. I feel like my mood has been pretty good. I mean, I've had my moments, but like I said, there's no pill that's gonna fix your hormones after you have a baby. Like it's, it's intense. Watch my video, watch my birth vlog, it's intense. So if you're looking for like a magic pill, um, wouldn't suggest putting all your eggs in one basket, but I will say I've had a really great postpartum experience and I've had no issues with supply or anything. She eats very well. That's really all I have to say about that. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I'm really thankful that my husband <laughs> was comfortable doing that for us. We could have shipped it somewhere or had someone else pick it up at the hospital, but he, it was really special for Sean to be the one to do that. And I just thought it was very cool. And hey, after spending a lot of money to have a baby, like why not save a few hundred dollars on your placenta pills? Cause having a baby ain't cheap. Anyway, that is really all I have to say. I'm sure I'll forget something and while I'm editing, I'm gonna be like, oh, I wish I would have said this, but I'll catch up with you guys in the next video if I forget. Actually, I have a couple videos kind of like backlogged. So maybe in a few videos, if I missed anything, I'll come back and link that video below. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's kind of a weird one, kind of a different one, but it's one I'm really excited about. I'm really thankful again for my sweet husband for doing this and filming it. He did it all himself like while I was figuring my life out in the first couple days of postpartum hood. So it was a wild ride. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I normally do a peace sign, but my hands are tied. Bye.